Yo, what's good, coach? If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you're slapping that subscribe button. For those who don't know, you get a reward when you hit max rank in the season, which is uh, 155. Last season, we actually got the OG variant, which was a classic M16 variant to add on to the M4, which I personally love because I can just say, man, I ain't using an M4. I ain't one of those hardcore sweats. It's an M16, bruh. But this season, we actually got an LMG variant, and it's the Warhead. And I'm going to be completely honest, it's kind of an underwhelming reward for hitting 155. Now, the issue that I have with this one is you grind your ass off, you work so hard to grind and hit 155, and you give us this underwhelming skin that doesn't really have any creativity to it, no uniqueness it's kind of just a, a boring looking lmg like it looks like a stock gun that they would have just added into the game um but for all the cool stuff like you can buy it like you can buy the dream killer odin for 800 cod points which looks dope you could buy the dream or the that smg that's pink for 800 cod points that looks dope you could buy the blue tracer pack and buy a gun that shoots blue bullets or you could buy the gun that shoots red bullets but the actual grind and getting to 155, you get this boring variant. So instead, you know, you guys make millions of dollars as it is and you force us to pay for the cooler stuff. But the people who are actually grinding and sweating their ass off and actually playing your dog shit fucking game only get this boring skin. I mean, I think that's unfair. Call of Duty, I hope you hear this. Please change it. Please give us animated camos. Even animated calling cards or something for hitting 155 would be so much cooler than these boring weapon variants. Or start giving us the weapon variants that you put in the item shop. Start giving us cool skins like the Dream Killer and things like that as the 155 variant. The OG I personally thought was dope. I like that they threw it back to like a classic gun. That was unique and distinctive. I don't think in the future people are going to be looking for that Warhead LMG and be saying, Oh my god, that's the fucking Warhead! I don't think too many people are going to care. I am going to say this and I am going to mean this. I love the officer rank system. Uh, I love the way that it goes. I love that it's seasonal and it resets and we got a reason to come back and play every season. But you have to give the players who actually grind out and hit 155 a better reward than what we're giving us. Season, the first season, the non-season, the OG variant, that was dope. That was cool. I liked that. I thought that was unique. Give us more stuff like that or start giving us the cool skins that you actually put in the item shop now i'm not asking for the operators nothing i just the cool gun variants for hitting 155 i'm sure would be an amazing reward for a lot of the players and to the players as well give me your feedback like let me know if you think like the stuff like the warhead that we're getting for hitting 155 kind of isn't worth it and let me know if you'd kind of like to see them give us the cooler stuff like maybe an animated calling card maybe an animated emblem maybe an animated camel for your gun or maybe just a dope weapon variant in general like the dream killer and all those other ones like cod you can literally do so much you can make this so much better i'm disappointed with this season i'm gonna be honest grinding to hit 155 there's no point like if you thought you were nervous because you're running out of time and you want to put that extra time in the game to hit 155 because you want that variant because it's cool and you know other people are going to be using it don't worry nobody's going to be using it it's not that cool. It's not that rare. There's nothing special about it. Just keep playing the game for fun, taking it at your own pace, and doing what you would like to do, because, man, oh, man, it ain't it. Guys, drop your opinion down in the comments on what you guys are still feeling about the officer ranks. We're halfway through Season 1. Let me know if you guys still miss the Prestige system or if you kind of have some hope in this. I have a little bit of hope in it. It just needs some changes, just like the rest of this game. But it kind of is going in the right direction. I'm having a lot more fun playing it right now. They're giving us these fast-paced maps, and they're staying. So I have nothing to complain about. I'm liking it. If you guys did enjoy this video, please drop a like. It lets me know that I'm doing something right. And if you didn't, drop a dislike because it lets me know I'm doing something wrong, and I can change it. Subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy and you want to watch stuff in the future. Uh, and it's been your boy Lush from Slim and Lush, man. I am out. Enjoy your fucking warhead.